Hey guys, Nurse Mike here and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Before we get today's lecture started, please remember, click here to check out our brand new app-based NCLEX product, loaded with the highest quality NCLEX style practice questions and complete with detailed video rationales that break down the question for you. So finally master all those darn select all that apply questions. Plus, all our NCLEX memberships come included with our entire library of over a thousand videos and study guides and cheat sheets. Come see why over a hundred thousand students have trusted their future to simplenursing.com. Click here to get started for free. Now our second antidiarrheal is dicyclamine, given to patients with irritable bowel syndrome, that IBS, who can have up to 20 loose stools per day. So think dicyclamine, Helps to get the bells on a regular cycle. Now, nah, mean. Now, guys, be cautious with the sound alike drug doxycycline or tetracycline, which is an antibiotic for acne. But, guys, this ends in cycling like cycling a bike and not dicyclomine. So, just be careful. Now, the mechanism of action is quite simple here it's antispasmodic and anticholinergic. It basically relaxes and dries the bell. So big side effect is constipation, dry mouth, and urinary retention. So for dicyclamine, just think a dry cycle on me bowels. You can't see, you can't spit, and you can't shh, poop. Now guys, it dries everything up, so diarrhea is not a common side effect. Remember, dicyclamine dries. Guys, it's prescribed to stop the diarrhea. So a big distractor on subquiz banks was that diarrhea as a side effect. So just know it's treating diarrhea. Now, a big key point here is for patient safety. Basically, which patients to avoid. So it's not for paralytic ileus or a bowel obstruction. Guys, this was the most stressed contraindication on most quiz banks. So we always question the prescription or doctor's order for dicyclamine and paralytic ileus. And it's not for narrowed angle glaucoma, but cataracts are okay. And not for a full bladder, basically anything over 400 mLs, known as urinary retention. That's always a tricky test question. So once again, dicyclamine, think dry cycle. Can't see, can't pee, can't spit, and can't shh. So guys, no peeing, so not on a full bladder. No seeing, so not for a glycoma, but again, cataracts are okay. And no spit and shh, poop. So watch for those stopped bowels. Keywords, bowel obstruction and paralytic ileus. So the bowel can die if you give dicyclamine. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right, guys, see you next time.